Hello, my name is ColdBearHD and welcome from Eastern Europe. This time I made you a list of isometric hack and slash action RPG games like Diablo. I said like Diablo. No, wrong again. There you go. Top 25 this time, because over the years a lot of great titles were released, so I made my research and I present you part 1 out of 3. Path of Exile I should probably start from the fact that this game is free to play. But nothing's free in this world. Of course, the game tries to feed itself on your inner greed demons, trying to convince you to buy overpriced cosmetics. But if you can stand before that urge, like a true warrior, nobody is taking a cent from you. Your power is limited only by your skills and items, not by money you have. Game is constantly updated. New areas and mechanics seem to come every quarter. Path of Exile also has story mode, which is like game itself absolutely free. Sometimes game is crazy hard, especially if you're new player, so if you feel like you're stuck, it's not your fault. <laughs> That's right, it's a game, not you. Don't be afraid to use some guide or something, you will thank yourself later. Ternium a game with quite simple graphics, but with entertaining gameplay and story. On PC it's capable of 4K Ultra HD mode, but you can also play this game on your iPhone or the Android, so it can travel with you anywhere you go. Maybe Blizzard tried to impress some people by announcing mobile Diablo game, but the truth is that those games are already here and Diablo Immortal will be just another game in a sea of similar projects. Eternium has really fun story mode with different levels and different mobs, from demons to dinosaurs, but also a bit boring endgame where you do daily quests and run endless trials to grind for better gear. Also game is a bit slow at the beginning. Such a sloth. Yes, but from about 8th level you're gonna start feeling the fun. The game is free. Of course, you can buy cosmetic stuff from the in-game shop, but I have to say that Eternium is not pay to win. Your power level is limited only by your skill and not by the size of your wallet, which as you can see can be big, but quite empty. Bastion First thing that catches my eye is the wonderful art style of this game. It's really unique. Bastion is an action role-playing experience that redefines storytelling with a reactive narrator who marks your every move. Take a look. This kid drinks a lot of vodka. Now he sees enemies everywhere. We call this vodka-induced condition the white fever. And we also call the police. Alright, maybe the narrative would be like this if Bastion was not American made, but created in Eastern Europe. Game lets you explore more than 40 hand-painted environments as you discover secrets of surreal catastrophe that shattered the world to pieces. Game is really short. To complete the game you will play for 7-8 hours max. You can beat it in one day. Of course, Bastion has Game Plus mode available, but a bit boring weapons and lack of enemy variety makes this game, at least for me, a one-time experience. Don't get me wrong, this is a great one-time experience. You will not regret it. And I would definitely recommend this game for you. Exanima this is the game with an amazing atmosphere. It's truly dark and not colorful like other games with allegedly gloomy atmosphere. I made the game with a really dark and scary atmosphere. Oh yeah? How many colors did you use? Not much, about seven. Seven? Seven. Seven million. No. This game delivers what it promises, original dark low fantasy world. This is the real deal. Exanima features a very deep, truly physics based combat system. Real momentum, forces and collisions are always at play here. Every nuance of your inputs is crucial to the outcome. Here you will not find the original hack and slash gameplay, but rather will encounter difficult combat system where your actions really matter. Though this game has a real dark side and it's not a good thing. I have to say that Exanima is an early access game and that early access started in 2015. Four years of early access is not good sign for any game. So I started digging for information and found that this company called Beer Metal Entertainment launched a Kickstarter campaign for a game named Sui Generis. After collecting $160,000 in pledges, they said that Sui Generis release date will be on May 2014. 
game was never released and instead of Sui Generis they released Exanima, just a standalone episode of Sui Generis game, Prelude as they call it. So keeping that in mind, I don't believe this game will ever be finished and I can say the same about Exanima's early access stage. I even went to Bare Metal's website and here I saw that the latest news were released in 2015. So if you think that Exanima is cool, keep in mind that bugs and glitches in this game might stay in there forever forever and ever Knox this one is a true classic. Game story starts when usual dude from 28th century, Jack Maurer, gets sucked into the fantasy world of Nox via his TV set. So it's basically the opposite of movie The Ring, where, you know, the opposite happens. Oh, and yes, I hope you're watching this video before you go to sleep. So, anyway, Nox was called Diablo Clone for a long time, but I wouldn't dare to call it that. It has its own charm, its own story, its own engine and design. It's a little different. What I liked most was graphic style. It's pixelated, but somehow it still looks cool and it aged very well. The game itself is somewhat linear. You'll see some minor differences only if you choose different character class while playing the game second time. As for the music, it's more cheerful than in Diablo, but still a great soundtrack. If you want great old school experience, Nox will definitely deliver it. Grim Dawn this is a true gem for any RPG hack and slash lover. In fact, people talk that Grim Dawn is the game Diablo 2 sequel should have been. Though I must warn you that at Steam Store I found reviews of this game with thousands of hours of playtime. So it can hook you really hard and instead of doing something useful, you're gonna play Grim Dawn all the time. Take a look at this dude. 3000 hours. It's 125 days of playtime and it's probably a year of gaming considering that you have to sleep and eat and probably drink some vodka with your friends. Vodka! I would like some vodka! You can do a lot in a year, an example my channel is only 2 years old. But if you're not afraid, if you think that Grim Dawn will not suck your time like an endless abyss, you just have to try it. Also, please do not google time sucking, because I did and I cannot unsee things now. Grim Dawn has wonderful dual class system where you can combine any of 6 classes with over 25 skills and modifiers per class. You will also enjoy kiting and evading monster attacks because in Grim Dawn it actually matters, and all of that is decorated with a wonderful art style. Loki, Heroes of Mythology. Game was released in the year 2007 and you can feel that oldness right away. But don't be fooled by that, this game is pretty good. One of the things I liked most was blood. Loki has plenty of it. It doesn't hide behind colorful effects, trying to be child friendly, happy, airy, fairy little game. No, it shows us the blood and that's great. A lot of people love this game for one reason or another, mostly because of nostalgia of course, but I have to say that it lacks polish. Game levels are quite similar, monsters AI is pretty weak and it is full of other tiny little annoying things, bugs and glitches not allowed to be on the games nowadays. But if you look at it as it is, a classic game, you will probably enjoy it anyway. Be sure to buy it on a sale. Victor Vran this game is made in Eastern Europe by famous Bulgarian company Heimimond Games, which made such well-known hits as Tropico 3, 4 and 5, also Surviving Mars and bunch of other great games. In Victor Vran, movement system is a bit different than in other action RPG games. Here you can jump and dodge, also you can use keyboard and move with WASD keys and use mouse to aim your weapon. That is pretty cool. I also have to mention Motorhead. Through the Ages DLC, listen what creators said about it. With the help of Lemmy and Lloyd Kaufman, harness the powers of the immortal Motorhead to defeat frightening new enemies in three demon infested worlds intertwined with the songs of the band. So it's probably the most metal DLC ever released and if you're a fan of Motorhead, it's just a must play for you. If not, just play without DLC whatever. It's a wonderful game and it really deserves your attention. How'd you make a dead baby, Flo? Two scoops of ice cream, two scoops of dead baby. <laughs> 
Thank you for watching. This was part one. Two more parts of this list will be released in the near future, or maybe they already exist, depending on the time you're watching this video. So, don't forget to subscribe and press that bell button to get notifications of upcoming videos. Also, you can become my patron on Patreon and make my life in Eastern Europe better. I also want to thank Alexander for becoming my newest patron. That's it for now. Have a nice day. Bye.